Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Matt here. I'm, I'm replying back to a bunch of comments. Uh, so I thought I would quickly just give you a, quick, a pointer that can help you guys out if you're struggling because I've noticed this question come up often. Each thing, each string or key makes a, a note. Notes grouped together make a chord, and then certain chords put together make a key of a song. It's really important that you know that. So each thing you peck or hit on a keyboard or, or pluck on a guitar is called a note. Notes grouped, certain notes grouped together make up a chord. And then chords grouped together, like G, C, E minor, D, or so forth, make up the key of a song. Now the first chord you strum, like if you hear somebody say, like, give me a G, that's called the root note, or they're putting the song in the key of, say, G. So that's the key you're going to be singing in. So people will ask me often if I'm playing a mandolin, a banjo, or the chords the same. And it's yes, because you're playing in the same key. Now if you wanted to switch the chords of a song, but be in the same key, you do what's called transpose the chords. So I can use maybe a capo, and that transposes the song so you can play different chords. Now, it might sound confusing, but it's, it's really not. You want every instrument playing the same chords. If you want different shapes, it's easier, whatever, you might have to transpose or use a capo to make the chords because you all all the instruments have to be in the same key so the people playing or singing can all be on the same uh, set of music there. So remember, notes, chords, and keys. Hope it helps you guys. Have a great day. God bless you.